Okay guys, good morning. So now mag-discuss ta as a continuation sa ato ang Fundamentals of Nursing Chapter 1. Now let's discuss scope of nursing. So nurses provide care for three types of clients, individuals, families, and communities. So it doesn't mean guys na for example, dying na itong patient, we have to stop giving care, giving comfort to our patient. No, because our scope is our the following, promoting health, preventing illness, restoring health, and caring for the dying. After we have to do, um, after dying, for example, we have to do, uh, we have to perform post-mortem post care. And we really have to make sure na um, ang family sa atong patient is presentable po ang iyahang cadaver. So we really have to make sure of that as future nurses because belong na siya sa atong scope. Okay, now let's discuss each of our scope. First one is promoting health and wellness. So, I keep on mentioning this one over and over again. Uh, way back then sa atong TFN. You all know, I think so, na I hope so, nakabalo na mo what, what are the process or what are the following ways in promoting health sa patient. So, promote wellness in clients who are both healthy and ill. So, it doesn't mean that those um, patients who are suffering from certain diseases, they are not actually receiving uh, promotion, health promotion from us nurses, but they deserve an equal um, care and equal health education. Um, enhancing healthy life lifestyle, improving nutrition, sorry, improving nutrition and physical fitness, preventing drug and alcohol misuse, Preventing accidents and injury in home and workplace. That is why our scope, guys, is from the, the, the moment the patient is admitted and up to the discharge of the patient. And even follow-ups also are encouraged now in LGU facilities. Uh, after a week of discharge, we have to instruct the patient to call or to go back to outpatient department for follow-up checkups because that is actually part of our scope and also part of um, preventing accidents and also to, to make sure that, that the patient is actually following the medication regimen, like for example. And another thing is preventing illness. So maintain optimal health and prevent illness. Immunizations. That is why if you belong to a marginalized sector of the community, kung namo dito, I really have to make sure to educate your neighbors, yung mga silingan dira. Di ba na yung mga, mga super, superstitious belief ang mga ang mga ancestors na ito, nga dili ipabakunahan ang bata, it's because daw, makadaot daw, ana-ana. So, we really have to educate them. Kasi, di man, nila, man sila kabaloon sa um, pros and cons of um, those health practices. Prenatal and infant care. That's why, guys, um, the earliest nga ma-detect ni mo na you are pregnant, you really have to go to the doctor, you really have to go to your health centers for early prenatal care. So, kasi if later on na ni mo, uh, at to center that might lead to congenital problems along the way sa imong pregnancy. And of course, prevention of STI. Part of preventing illness is educating your your friends, your colleagues, um, your somehow um, imong makaila-kaila lang. You really have to make sure na educate mo siya. How to prevent STI, of course, abstinence is the first and of course, the utilization of different um, safe sex practices like usage of condoms and a lot more. So that's it. Next is restoring health. What? Um, who are the patients involved in this scope? Of course, those patients who are already suffering from a chronic illnesses or chronic diseases, those patients who are diabetic already, those patients who are hypertensive, those patients who are amputated or naputulag ti ill. So, there is sila na belong to restore health. Focuses on ill client extend from early detection of disease through helping the client during the recovery, of course. Um, example na na administration of medication. So that's why you really have to make sure na na-instruction na na yung mga patients on how to take his or her meds para mafollow yun na niya uh, once ma-discharge na siya. Specific procedures and treatment. Measuring BP, consulting with other healthcare professionals. Of course, we nurses, we cannot actually act alone. So we really have to collaborate with uh, different doctors for us to give quality sa atong patient. Um, rehabilitation as well. 
that's why if you are became a nurse in the future you really have to make sure na once you detected something unusual vital signs in one patient you really have to refer it um right away to your doctor so wag, wag na ninyong patagalin that because that might lead to another serious problem and worse pwede mamatay mong patient caring for the dying so comforting and caring for people sorry for people of all ages who are dying clients live comfortably as possible until death and helping support persons cope with death so you don't need to restrict the significant others to to be with that um dead person or dead patients you really have to make sure that you allow them to grieve you allow them to be with that signif- be with that patient to you know to give them privacy and you know they, because they really have time to grieve agencies calls hospices hospices guys are specifically designed for this purpose kana mga hospices kina to siya mga dying person kana mga nay cancer na terminally ill so they don't really want to go to the hospital they preferred going to hospice centers because in that particular area or centers um they usually give only comfort alleviation of pain and nothing more Okay, settings for nurses. In the past, acute care hospital was the main practice. Nowadays, clients' homes, yes, because we are using, as what I've said, we are using U.S. textbook. And in U.S., guys, um, you can be a pre- even here in the Philippines, actually, we are um, practicing na, na nurses, nag-hire sila private nurse, and ano sila stay in sa patient. Uh, usually, you give primary care. So, pag primary care, you give medication, you, give perf- you perform a lot of procedures that's because that's primary care and community agencies we do have here in the philippines mga nursing deployment programs nurses who are assigned in different barangays and different barrios long-term facilities and nursing practice centers so the kind of settings unlike in the past and we do have nurses practice acts nurses practice acts it's a legal act for professional nursing practice. It regulates the practice of nursing in the U.S. Sorry. So, the common purpose. What is the purpose of Nursing Practice Act? It's to protect the public. Kasi guys, uh, there are nurses talaga na, you know, they don't aware what you're doing. Parang, um, dili, wala sinawa na sila focus But sometimes. So, that's why the, it leads to, um, professional negligence or mamali sila hat of medication or somehow like that so that's this nurses practice acts will help the public will protect the public when it comes to those kind of accidents or yeah, for those uh, professional negligence committed by nurses so the so standard of nursing practice naman it describes the responsibilities for which nurses are accountable the ANA or the American Nurses Association standards of professional performance describe behaviors expected in nursing role. Kasi guys, kung nurse ka, nurse lang ka, dira lang ka tama, you don't need to go beyond because mas charge ka ang malpractice. For example, um, you as a nurse, um, except lang guys ha, katong mga, you know, katong mga dati na dyan na practice sa hospital. Like, you're a nurse, and then you've noticed uh, baba kay potassium yung patient your exper- uh, the patient is, was experiencing hypokalemia and then wala ni mo refer sa doctor you just give medication without even referring it to the doctor that's why that's not your scope anymore so that's why pwede ka na charge of malpractice or what so that might also lead to revocation of your license if proven if you're proven guilty so mind of, be, be mindful of Ana guys, kay possible sayang inyong effort for 4 years and then ma-revoke lang siya just because of one mistake na imong nahimo. Okay, the rules and function of the nurse. So this rules guys, the US. So mana po nagagamit ani sa Pilipinas. So caregiver assist the client physical and the psychological domain, full care, partial and supportive educative. So the focus domain here is the physical and the psychological aspect of health.
Communicator naman, you identify client problems and communicate this verbally or in writing to other members of health team. So we sometimes in in a healthcare team, yeah, referring to the doctor for those unusualities, vital signs, maybe vital signs or laboratory signs. You, you act as a communicator. Kanang pag time ni mo nag refer ka sa doctor, you are a communicator that time. So nurses must able to communicate clearly and appropriately. So you really have to make sure that um, you refer those labs that are unusual. Tapos dili po na refer to refer ka without even um, knowing what is the you know the normal level for example of different laboratory results so you have to make sure na may alam ka before referring teacher naman helps clients learn about their health and healthcare procedures so assist the learning needs so as a teacher you are a nurse but you act as a teacher once um, before giving medication of course before giving medication you have to instruct your patient na ma'am that this medication could cause um, dizziness. So, make sure that um, after taking the meds, you really have to lie down. Or another thing is, ma'am, this medication, this furosemide 40 milligram tablet, uh, this, may, this may result to um, somehow um, increasing the urge to urinate. Diba? Pre-frequent urination. So, ayun nakatingala, ma'am, ha, kung sige, hi, hi. So, that's uh, you are your role that time is being a teacher. Teach the UAP or the nursing attendant. Sa, U sa US kasi guys, UAP yung tawag sa mga attendant or unlicensed assistive personnel. But here in the Philippines, nursing attendant to whom you delegate the care. So for example, eh, syempre, night time gonna be busy kaya mga nurses. So night time nga, uh, manghang yung kaog favor sa imuhang attendant na please pakiterminate ko sa IV. But we have to make sure that you verify the doctor and the, the doctor's order prior delegating it. Kasi bisan gi delegate ni mo na sa imuang attendant, you as a nurse liable jud ka anak. So ikaw ang liable ana kung naay mga mali, mali or something. Next would be client advocate. So protect client by representing the client's needs and wishes and exercising the client's rights and help them to speak up for themselves. So there are times uh, guys na patients are emotionally depressed. So somehow you have to encourage them to speak up for themselves. So their wishes, their concerns, their queries. So you have to make sure na nakuha na ninyo or um ang patient ni mo able to speak up for them. Pero pag dili nila kayo mag-speak up, you as a nurse should be the advocate of your client. Counselor naman, counseling is a process of helping client to recognize, recognize and cope with stressful and social problems. So help patient adjust to difficulties. Yeah, because somehow, when your patient is admitted in the hospital, they tend to be uh, parang na-deprived sila sa ilang yun, normal environment sa ilang balay. So, we have to counsel the patient psychologically so that they can adjust sa hospital setting. Change agent naman, assisting clients to make modification in their behavior. Like, for example, page, your patient was admitted because of, um, shall we say, lung cancer or pneumonia. Um, you have to make sure na you educate the patient, give proper health education about stopping Kasi na-notice mo na smoker siya for how many years. So, you have to make sure na natagaan mo siya proper, proper information so that that might lead to modification sa ilang behavior. Leader naman influences others to work together to accomplish specific goal. So, your goal is to motivate people. The manager naman is delegate nursing act activity to ancillary workers and other nurses, supervisors, and evaluates performance. Ang manager naman guys, mauna siya mga supervisors, mga acting supervisors sa hospital. Tiba ang mga supervisor ay naga-delegate naga og mga himo og staffing. So, sila ang manager. Mauna ang role nila as a manager. Case manager naman is works with multidisciplinary team to measure effectiveness of case management plans and measures outcomes. It's a general means of assessing the patient's satisfaction in the hospital. Research cost consumer naman uses research to improve client care. So, in America, there are expand expanded career rules. But, of course, before 
um, having this one or performing this following rows, you have to make sure that you have the upper freight um, licenses. You have um, nagskwela ka for how many years or months perhaps. So nurse practitioners practitioner rather, clinical nurse specialist, nurse anesthetist. Nurse anesthetist, guys, if you are in the U.S., this is one of the most highly paid profession in the America. So nurse midwife, nurse researcher, nurse administrator, nurse educator, sorry, nurse entrepreneur, and forensic nurse. So, but of course, there are ladderized programs for this. You have to study and you have to um, garner, garner a different, different um, practices prior um, practicing this following rules so what is the difference between profession between professionalism so let's discuss it profession defined as an occupation that requires extensive education or a calling that requires special knowledge skills and pre pre preparation being a nurse is a profession teacher engineer is a profession because we it requires ex extensive education while professionalism in behalf naman refers to a professional character, spirit, or methods. It attributes responsibility and commitment. So that's what you call professionalism. Professionalization naman is the process of becoming professional. So acquiring characteristics considered to be professional. So self-explanatory, I know you can understand those one. So what are the criteria of profession? So the first one is specialized education body of knowledge service orientation it considers altruism altruism guys is a selfless concern for others helping others without expecting any return that is altruistic value system ongoing research code of ethics worth and dignity of others Nurses must consider right regardless of the personal cost. Autonomy naman guys is means independence at work, responsibility and accountability for one's action. Ang autonomy guys, it's your own decision. So once maging nurse na mo puhon, you have to make sure that you practice autonomy. But not all the time. Because autonomy means you, you need help from other. Especially pag beginners pa ka sa ka ward, you have to seek help from your senior nurses. Dili kayo pahawad, hawad na ka dahil dito. Because that might lead to uh commission of mistakes or a lot more of negativities. You have to make sure na you practice the moimuhang decision or self-decision. Professional organization. Nurses needs to work within their professional organization. Information, telehealth, and telenursing. So let's discuss them one by one and let's define each term. Tele means distance. Telehealth Use of medical information exchanged from one side to another via electronic communication to improve client condition. So that's telehealth. Telemedicine naman is the direct client clinical services, okay? So telehealth is you are just using or you just utilizing a piece of medical information. While telemedicine is you are actually dealing, primarily dealing with client. Like, Kung telehealth lang, we are just searching from internet about proper modification, the, the treatment for that particular disease. For telemedicine, you are talking with your patient directly. Your, your patient is asking about um, their medication, their current situation. You, are, uh, you give them proper advices. So that's telemedicine. And now, in, in the OPMC, since we are practicing lockdown, telemedicine di hapon. So you can call um, telemed anytime 24-7 I think so but sa una mga good 8 to 5 but I don't know if nag -ano sila so you can call and ask your questions and the doctors could answer your respective questions and queries Telenursing naman, use of telecommunication and information technology to provide nursing practice at distance so you, I am a nurse my patient for example is from Baganga um, I'm calling my, with my patient and then I'm instructing the patient, for example, my patient is fev febrile. I will instruct the, the, the significant others to perform tepid sponge bath like that. So that's telenursing. Legislation naman, Patient Self-Determination Act. So this is, always remember that. 
requires that every competent adult to be informed in writing on admission to healthcare institution. That's why, guys, kung manotis niyo kung na-admit na mo sa hospital, the first page of your chart belongs to you. Kasi ginapapirmahan na sa inyo, just like a consent para sa inyo, ha? Like you, you, it's your own decision to go to the hospital and seek help from healthcare professionals. So, demography, the current nursing shortage. So, collective bargaining. So, more nurses are using collective bargaining to deal with their concern. In the US, guys, nurses can do strike. Like, for example, wala sila nakaangay sa remuneration, sa ilang sweldo, wala sila nakaangay sa ilang duty. They can do collective bargaining. So, collective bargaining is like negotiation between the employee and the employer. So, for example, wala sila nagkasinabot during the collective bargaining process that may lead to, that may lead to strike. So, pwede sila mag-rally. So, actually, sa US, it's a healthy practice. It is actually encouraged by the American Nursing Association for the welfare of the employee. Okay, Nurses Association. Uh, we do have also nursing organization in the US, American Nursing Association, or American Nurses Association, but here in the Philippines, it's Philippine Nurses Association. National League for Nursing, uh, Foster Development and Improvement of All Nursing Services, the National Council of Nurses. The mission is to represent nursing worldwide, advancing the profession. And the last one is the National Student Nurses Association. Napaday last, I, I actually mentioned this way back then during the TFN days nato. The International Honor Society, the Sigma Theta Tau, it's meaning love, courage, and honor. It's one of the the oldest and the biggest organization internationally. But the purpose is prof professional rather than social. So it's like on development, doing research on how to develop the nursing practice, on how to improve um, quality care towards to our patients. So that would be all the continuation of chapter 1 and I will proceed to chapter 2. So make sure you watch the lecture because all of our examination and quizzes will come from this slide. So make sure that you watch it. You can actually keep on watching this all over and again. So my purpose why I opted to download it here on YouTube is that um, every every now and then, kung di nyo mahuman ng tanaw, you just have to post it and then just actually uh, return or just actually watch it like af after an hour after ni mag rest so it's like um, mas easy sa inyo ha so that would be all guys and thanks for listening